lambing time. Sort of begin is not now, but when the lambs go out in, in the uh, autumn, November, um, get your ewes ready, taking the lambs off in the previous month, and put your lambs in, and magically five months later you have baby lambs. That's for the public eyes. Basically, lambing time is busy time of the year. Um, being a mountain farm, it's best to lamb early, lambs indoors away from the predators, crows, magpies and the foxes. Um, long hours, less sleep, get them in and as you know it takes a while before anything happens. You have many nights that you get up and nothing is happening and then you can go out there one night and you can be out there all night long. Uh, lambing they say like lambing on a mountain farm as this is, is dependent on the weather, whether you can turn your lambs out with the ewes or whether you've got to keep them in the extra week. Um, lambing indoors means straw, bedding, feeding, water and you have your losses as well as the live ones. Once the ewe got your lambs in the pens take them out to mother them up in a smaller pen, 24, 48 hours. Put them to a bigger pen for another day or so and then turn the group out onto the fields. But you still got to shepherd them. And shepherding needs the dog. Uh, the dog is... Let me see. Quickly going out of fashion. Nowadays you'll find most farms have got quad bikes where they chase the sheep around the field with the bike and not use the dog. Great on a nice warm sunny day, not so good in the rain. Whereas if I want the sheep I go with the dog and they sit in the truck in the warm. And if I need to catch them, the dog catches them for me. Feeding time. Uh, it's matter of balancing the nutrition to the ewe for what the amount of lambs that she is carrying. Uh, the ewes today are pregnancy scans so you know what they're going to have. Twins, singles, triplets <coughs> or more even on some farm. And again after they've lambed, um, not all mothers want them. It means you have to hold them or put them in yolks so that the lambs can suck. Usually within a couple of days of milk that will take to the lamb. If not, you've got a pet lamb to feed. And then before you turn them out, you have to castrate or dock them, or as they know it here, put rubber rings on. <laughs> but yeah, it looks painful. But Ten minutes of walk now, it's just forgotten about it, and they'll go off down the field skipping quite happily. And the reason for docking is to stop the flies and the fly strike with the long tail if it gets soiled it attracts the flies and again with the, the castration the ram meat is, tastes very bitter uh, very few people like that meat it usually goes to the ethnic minorities where they seem to like them uh, and the strange thing about it is that they only buy rams when there's an R in the middle something you didn't know <laughs> but always been in sheep farming, enjoy it, hope I'll always be here. Being here, grandfather started his farm in 1926. He came to this particular farm when he started from coal mining. Uh, father's farmed it, I just farmed it. Uh, nobody else to come on behind the farm, it, and it seems to be. The way that things are going, that the new generation of youngsters don't want to come into farming because of the work. Long hours, sleepless nights and little return for it. This has to be a way of farming. If you don't like the way the farming is going, you don't do it. <laughs>